Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. I went online to become a private detective. It was a private detective school online, and I paid online. I never heard from them again. I thought to myself, I either got ripped off, or this is my first case. This is a journalistic podcast, Shannon. We vaccinate our listeners with answers. And I'm going to keep lip syncing the important questions until TikTok gives me a show. Shannon, how can the moon landing be real if the moon itself is fake? That's not true, Mike. Oh, isn't it true, Shannon? You're fake. You're a hologram. One in five New Yorkers are food insecure. What's your solution for that, Mike? Fortune cookie. Because that's food and advice at the same time. Shannon, at least have the decency to backstab me, okay? You stab me in the front every time. Some fans can't watch the podcast because they're triggered by our sexuality. And message to those fans, we will leak a sex tape right into your mouth. This is Mike Vecchione Investigates. And you're not better than me. Welcome to another episode of Mike Vecchione Investigates, a hard-hitting episode. I meant to say that at first, but I... um, inadvertently skipped over it first mistake not the first mistake of the podcast we had several errors in the beginning of this podcast there was a log jam for the printer <laughs> the uh, intro didn't work which we'll fix in post which should be the name of the show we'll fix it in post but shannon came through like a true producer champion all credit to shannon and we are humming along just fine. We don't let any adversity stop us, and we will use our affirmations against the adversity. We take the adversity, like a log jam, in the printer, and we transmute it into total victory, and we're looking for a good episode today. Um, I just am coming off two episodes with my mother via Zoom. Um, the first uh, episode, it took us uh, longer than the actual podcast to get her on Zoom. We managed to do it, though, and then the next one went much, much faster, and we uh, got to the bottom of a lot, and if you haven't seen those episodes, you need to go back on YouTube, and you need to go through them, because those are hard-hitting, and it also proves my worth as an investigator, the fact that I will turn on my own family for views, and a lot of you are like, oh, no, Mike, you're too loyal to your family. It's like, no, I'm not. I'm doing journalism now, and I will turn on my own family, and I will expose them and I will uh, destroy them, which is a good headline. Mike destroys mother. Um, mother claps back at son. These are all good headlines that uh, get lots of clicks and advertisements. So I'm looking for that because the name of the game is journalism now. Hard-hitting journalism. So I did a couple of Zoom episodes with my mother, former teacher, um, current uh, what's an 82 year old shannon an octogenarian yes yes an octogenarian and she is great and she was articulate and lovely and smart and beautiful and uh really let me have it a couple of times which i'm sure the low-income whites who watch the show love when i get it so um thank you for watching and uh we're going to continue today we're in studio today We like to mix it up, and I know that it confuses you guys out there because you never went to college or even finished high school. So you are just thrown off by what we're doing, but it keeps you interested. We're like the hot girl that you're dating. We just keep you interested, and we might throw a fit, but you know what? The intimacy is really, really good, and that's why you won't leave. So we're in the studio today, and I have, he's no longer a guest. We've upped him to fellow investigator, and he has his own show along with the lovely Shannon here at the Gas Digital Net- Network, which we'll get to, but that's stirring <laughs> plugs. Uh, Mike Figs is here. What's going on, Mike? Mike, you look great. You uh, came in on time. Yeah. Fresh haircut that yes, you sir. did yourself. 100%. I wonder how Shannon can hold it together when she has a couple of guys in here with full heads of hair that look so um, amazing. It's Shannon, how do, you, how do you do it, Shannon? It's it's not easy. It's it not easy. a lot of practice, but um, I get through it. 
But usually it's just me with a great head of hair. But now you have Figs coming in who's like a younger, yeah. hotter version of yeah. me with should, even thicker. Um, should I take these off? Dominican Italian hair. I'll take these off. Just so just Puerto so Rican. the viewers understand the level of sexual tension. Do you see my pecs? You see that? And you're doing the pec thing that people do at the gym. Yeah. Yeah, that's unreal. Mm -hmm. Did you do chest yesterday? Yeah. Right? Because this is then, everybody. Figs did chest yesterday. And he's, for those of you who can't afford a computer and can't see what's happening, the sexuality that's happening here, Mike was going, he was working his pecs um, by flexing them back and forth, back and forth. And I think... If we both do that, then it opens up a black hole here at the Gas <laughs> Digital Studios. We should and, try. Um, it's unbelievable. You're looking great. Thank you so much. You said you cut your own hair. Cut my own hair. Yeah. Did, who inspired? Did I inspire that? One hundred percent. How how did you come to cut your own hair? I think uh, you and I did a Zoom episode mm -hmm. during the pandemic, and I noticed right away the right. fade, the right. the level of of detail, and uh, I said, hey, "What am I doing here?" You know. In the pandemic, wasting right. time. Because yeah. no breathing disease can stop us from cutting our own hair. 100%. So I uh, I bought a three-way mirror. It was $70 on Amazon. Oh, my God. Yeah. Did you check with Dr. Fauci first? <laughs> I'm keeping it about the... Um, and I'm keeping yeah. it about the pandemic to polarize our fans. I want to polarize you. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm polarizing you. Okay, Mike, yeah. go ahead. So you bought a three-way mirror? Three-way mirror. Um, do you I got use a it for, wall. Do you use it for other... Things, <laughs> sometimes you know, then for the kids, you know, I put okay. it in. They think they're in a, they think they're in a circus. You know, well, that's so great that yeah. you kept I'm it that, Disney. I'm that kind of. I dad. was trying to take it uh, a darker, like more intimate way, and you took it Disney. It's for the kids. You it's know, one great. fat kid goes in, he's like, I'm skinny, and he looks at the other one, I'm I'm slim. Right. You know? And then I go, all right, I need a haircut. You little bastards, cut the shit. Right. The party's over, and I go in the bathroom for an hour and fifteen minutes, and I come out like this. It's really hot. It's a hot look. It's a hot fade. Thank How you, did really. you learn to do it? Or, Mike is still flexing. For those of you guys at home, we're not even doing the bit about the chest anymore, and Mike is still I'm a little flexing. insecure. I'm a little, because I couldn't see, and I felt insecure. I felt like something was on my nose. Right. I feel better now. Something's in your heart, and it's called courage. you damn right. Because you're very courageous to come on this podcast and flex like this. Valor. When I'm asking you a question that has oh, nothing to do with muscles or flexing, we're far past it and you're still sorry. that's like giving 100% is sorry. what I call it. I feel like I'm hanging out with Mark Wahlberg right now, you know? This podcast is so early. It's the yeah. earliest fucking podcast ever. Wow. I just I just woke up. Wow. Jumped in an Uber. Right. You know, from the, 70 bucks. From the Bronx? From the Bronx. Uh, you know, it's okay. It's fine. You know, I I'm hemorrhaging financially, but it's okay. <laughs> and uh I'm on time. I'm ready to rock. It feels good. Okay, so how how did you you cut your hair trial and error. Trial and error. The first few times were really bad. Uh, did you have to shave it all off at one point? Uh the sides. I had to shave. I couldn't I couldn't like taper it nicely. Yeah. So I had to just fucking hit it with a one, just the whole damn thing. Right. Now I kind of start low. Now I hit it with a two, then I go zero, then I up guard a little bit and I slowly blend it. That's really great that yeah. you learned to do that by yourself. Goddamn professional. Well, I had to do I had my Bleep that. I don't know. I can't say goddamn on this show. You, you Tell can't, bleep it. You can say, we don't have to bleep. You could say whatever Should you Should I want. go? I'll head out of here. Could you head out, Mike? <laughs> Rather, <laughs> a guest that's going to respect the um, respect the podcast and not flex throughout <laughs> it. And trying to, as, at first I was like, oh, Mike did chess. And then it's like, <laughs> is this an intimidation? <laughs> this is intimidation where Mike is coming after me. He's got a full illustrious head of hair. It's it's tighter and thicker than mine now. He's got um, um it's the same. We have the same look. Obviously, strength, mm -hmm. which I've seen from the flexes. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if you're here to take over my podcast. You've already taken Shannon's, and now you've come in to take me down. Is that what it, it, I mean, is? I'm, that what it is? I mean, I'm trying to. You know what? I think you're worthy, and I think we should join forces. I've always thought that. I thought that you and I should go on tour. You, me, Sebastian, Dice. We should all go on a big tour together and make some cash. But you keep uh, you keep ignoring me, Mike. I keep ignoring. I keep ghosting. I, the kids are using that oh, term. Oh, true, true. So I'm ghosting you, but um, Sebastian's ghosting me. <laughs> so we're all ghosting each other. And I think it should be called We Ghost Each Other Tour. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, 
so the haircuts are going you gradually learn to do them yeah because it was not easy for me to learn how to you probably maybe learn faster than i do no i don't think so how long have you been cutting your hair for i learned in college oh well you're doing great well, i'm doing a great job yeah 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 but i'm saying it took me a while to learn yeah. did it take you a while? and you know when i mess it up yeah my friend who's a who knew how knows how to cut hair would fix it for me my roommate mm-hmm the guy was how bad me. would you mess up your hair? Would I would mess it up pretty bad. I'd be like, I'm stuck. I don't know how to do this. And he would, he would, he would, fi- yeah, he would f- figure it out. I think we can cut each other's hair. I think cut. one day, I think Ellis Mania Skankfest 2023, we cut each other's hair. But isn't that going to disrupt the bare knuckle boxing that's no. happening? No, people, people don't care about that. They want to see two guys cut each other's hair cut in the each ring other's hair. while roasting a celebrity. Y- yes. Maybe there needs to be another element. Yes. Maybe we can cut each other's hair while Lewis is behind us and three guys are trying to fight him. Yes. Pinata suit Lewis. They're trying to fight him. You and me having a nice conversation. Two strong white males. Just are we well, both I'm half, I'm half white? white? I'm half white. Thank you for saying that <laughs> yeah. because our fans can so. sniff out when there's migrants. Yeah. So. Um, I just getting a text from my mother, Shannon. Uh, what time does your flight land on Sunday? And I am going to ghost her and I'm going to write ghosted. Are you getting her back from when she ghosted you? She ghosted me, yeah. and now I'm ghosting her back. I'm just... If you write ghosted, that's not ghosting someone. You have to just not respond. Right. That's what I've learned. Yeah, that's that's the important part of it. You have to ignore them. <laughs> you have to ignore them. <laughs> and I just ignored her, okay? Good Sorry, care. Mom. You're not bringing the ratings this week. It's Mike Figg's time. And my mom was trying to step on your time, and I ghosted her because of it. And I just think that it's... um. The right thing to do in this case. How you been otherwise, Mike? You have a new show on the air, and it's not plugs right now, but we can talk about it. Yeah, I've been doing the thing is with Shannon, and I mean, it's the been, thing it, is. Yeah, the thing is, ding. ding. Thank you. And we've been uh, crushing the ratings. You're crushing right now. it now. Bigger than Godfrey. Wow. Bigger than Skanks. <laughs> Bigger than Stern. Wow. Crushing right you now. You guys are crushing it. Yeah. You ever heard of and Joanna with- Angel? Yes. Yeah, she was on the show. We're crushing. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. You guys are having um, pornography stars. Uh, magicians, porn stars, clowns, tech people. We just grabbed Alex the other day, said, come in the booth. Are you ready to shine? And she said, yeah. She had some contractions, and she pissed herself. We wept, we moved, we kept it going. We didn't care, right, Shannon? That's one way to That's one way to look at it, I guess. You have a different uh, perspective of what happened. And it was the <laughs> highest rated episode. It was ever, the highest rated ever episode? Ever on Gas Digital History. On the Gas Digital Network, it was the highest rated and. We're climbing, man. Did We're you climbing. guys accuse? Because if I had Alex on, I would accuse her of faking her pregnancy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you guys do that? Because this is an investigative show, <laughs> and sure. I would go fake pregnancy. Yeah, I mean, we should have done that. Damn, Shannon. See, why you guys did do that. Didn't Shani? I accent, I add that extra element <laughs> of it, and it's Darn a it. fake pregnancy. And when you accuse a woman of a fake pregnancy in this Roe versus Wade world that we're living in, it gets. Views, Big Michael. Time. Big time. Damn it. I, and, need um, I need to write that down. What's your favorite part of the uh, podcast that you guys do? Is it the fighting? Is it the ghosts? Is it the dates? It's the date stuff. I love the relationship yeah. stuff. Yeah, I like I like kind of getting into people's personalities and um, putting myself in a scenario. What would I do? And stuff. I like that. Right. I like helping others. You like helping others. Mm-hmm. But you're not in an open relationship, are you? No, I'm in a Dominican relationship. And that's closed. It's very close. It's very close. I call her my wife. I have to. You have to call her your wife? Yeah. And she's not my wife. She's not well, your wife. She is my wife, if she's listening. Right. You know? It's a closed relationship. Very, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's gotta be very this has got to be somewhere between open and closed relationship that we can land. Like um, COVID hours? Yeah. Yeah, COVID hours is pretty good. Yeah, it's like open sometimes. But Vegas it's trip. Not open otherwise. Up, it's Vegas trip. Right. It's Vegas trip. Yes. Something. Yeah. Something that just open and closed. Just seems so f- definite, both of those things. Are you trying to say something, Mike? Are you, I'm you just feel trying to say, I'm just trying to say that it's like an open relationship feels um, like you're letting too many people in. A closed relationship, I just don't like the sound of it. It mm-hmm. feels like you're shutting the other person down. True. And then a, um, a relationship that has limited hours just seems better. Yeah. A revolving relationship? A revolving. Yeah. Something. Shannon, your thoughts on that? Let's open it up to you. I like revolving relationship. Mm-hmm. I think that could definitely be a type of one. And, then and maybe... what does that entail? So, but that, okay, I also think a, a jar. 
a relationship and a jar relationship. It's just like open a little bit. A jar. I need yeah. a definition for that. Can some you guys have a jar? Yeah. Open a little our bit. Our fans <laughs> uh, just slightly open. Oh, thank you. I knew that, but our fans, much like you, Mike, will bewildered, which is yeah. another word they probably are stumbling over. Yeah, can you do, do me a Confused. favor? Is that a book? I think it's a book. Bewildered or a Disney show? Oh, that's the wild things. Where the oh, wild so things are. That's right. That's right. Bewildered is another. You're taking wild and using it in a bigger word. That you probably never learned in your high school. I mean, I have a degree in general education. You have a general education degree? Indeed, I do. That's so good for our fans Thank because you. they are very basic. You really like your fans. They only have an eighth grade education. Most of them probably never made it through high school, yeah. let alone co- they've never even seen a college. It's expensive. Or allowed on a college campus except to cut the lawn. Maybe, or do some kind of a landscaping. Oh, okay. I'm being honest with them, <laughs> and they appreciate my honesty, Michael. Like When they come to this podcast, mm-hmm. they're getting a dose of reality, mm-hmm. and they enjoy it, and it helps them to improve. In order to improve, Michael, you have to start from scratch, Yeah, and that's where I bring our fans. Yeah, we, yeah. I bring them to scratch so that we can start building yeah. you know, a real future. So they listen to this not knowing that they're Mexican, and you kind of... You kind of reassure no, them. No, they're not Mexican. You, you they're reassure- not Mexican. Well, you said that they cut the lawns on some of these campuses. So. Low-income whites can cut lawns, true, too. True, 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 Okay. Just I mean, clear that up. Sorry. I have to clear it up with you, Michael. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I have we, not been, been behaving. You you came in hot. Yeah, a little too hot. No, I meant with the haircut. You're really hot. Thank you so can much. Can I say that to of you? Of course you can. Without being kind of kind of weird about it? No, you have my consent. Okay. Your it's, leg consent keeps, is a huge yeah. thing. In this day and age, consent. And I want for the record to know that Mike is consenting yeah. to my advances. Yeah. And I'm doing advances on you. Verbally, I'm consenting, but I need you to stop hitting my leg under the table. That you can stop. It's part of. You, so you're consenting to the verbal part the of verbal's it? Verbal's fine. But the hitting your, your leg, know. you're not consenting to that. I'm not. That, that needs to stop. I'm oh surprised my. you could reach me, but wait. I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to say that, Mike. I. Now I'm overwhelmed. Now let's just cut it out. I'm, I'm going to head out of here. Actually, I think you should leave. <laughs> Please stay. This has been an uh, we we've been up and down in this. We've had yeah. this kind yeah. of back and forth that's very emotionally taxing for most of our fans who've never been in a functional relationship before. And um, that's this is what a relationship is. You have to work through issues. Mike enjoyed the fact that I was hitting on him but (laughs) when i was kicking him under the table he did not enjoy the physical part of that so i knocked it off yeah i knocked it off and now we're moving forward this is a great episode shannon (laughs) it's very unorthodox it's an unorthodox episode and after um attacking my mother for the last two episodes it's good to have mike figs come in from the bronx probably armed with some kind of a shank or a shiv, or his glasses could probably turn into something that something stabby. Yeah, and um, had to have him in front of me, this um, sweet, hot-looking man. Thank you. And just going at it back and forth. You mm-hmm. know what I mean, Shannon? Well, I admire you. The truth is, I admire you very much. Shannon is not paying attention. She's too busy looking at Ron Piper or whatever. Well, Shannon had double mutes on the last time we had an I episode. Did. She go, I have double mutes, and no one knows. No one knows what inside <laughs> of the um, producer studio is. That's when you mute twice. Oh, you I have thought to mute people twice. <laughs> I thought those were the two interns in the hallway. Double mutes. Mike Figs bringing the heat. He's on. Uh, the thing is, it's a new cast. Thanks. It's Shannon. It's Mike Figs. They are doing dating. They are doing ghosts. And they are doing fighting, and uh, it's a great podcast. And uh, but you should also listen to this one too, <laughs> because we're getting to the bottom of a lot of stuff. And I don't want you guys to leave this podcast to go look at their podcast. You have time to do that afterwards. Um, let's get to some news stories, Shannon. Shall we? This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com. The official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. Yes, let's. By the way, I do have. I only have one mute on today, but it's just because it gets a little loud in the background. So I'm just trying to be respectful of both of you guys. Right. And Natalie has jumped ship, and she's on the other podcast. Wow. As we're been placed in the small studio again, and Figs did not even. 
he just went right into the small studio and did not <laughs> even. You'll get some um, some guests who or, or or fellow investigators, as Mike is, who scoff at it and go, "I can't be in the small studio. I'm too big for the small studio." But Mike just came in. He put his work glasses on and uh, gelled his hair. I guess a second time, <laughs> and then went right to work. Yeah. Got a small stepping ladder, got on this chair. Right. Yeah. This chair, chair is um, <laughs> equivalent to a high dive for those of you guys at home or wherever you guys are watching this from, I guess, uh, Airbnb. This is more intimate, though. I, I like this studio. This is intimate. Yeah, this gets intimate. right to, you yeah. know, we get right face to face, eye to eye. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, your glasses yeah. first. Prescription? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty bad. Yeah, pretty blind. You just touched my elbow with your finger, but it's fine. Okay, well, it's yeah, sexual vibes yeah. happening here. And if our fans can't handle it, you can't handle it. And I will get uh, cakes from a bakery that will do a gay wedding. That was one of our news stories <laughs> earlier in the year. And I'm just letting the fans know that I will um, go to a bakery that will cater a gay wedding. And it will say, um, happy marriage to Ron and Jim or whoever the uh, gays are. How many gays do you think percentage of gays listen to this? If you mm. had a guess. I think all our fans are gay. Oh, cool. Yeah. So um, all, sexuality so is a... Michael, they, can I teach you? Go ahead. Sexuality is a spectrum. True. Okay? And we're on the lower end of the spectrum in every capacity. Athleticism, yeah. intelligence, <laughs> yeah. sexuality. Yeah. We're on the low end. We're definitely on the spectrum. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure on it. We're there. Um, Shannon, let's get to this first news story. Okay, the first one is, the headline is, I almost died after turning my head too fast playing pickleball. Pickleball, Michael, have you ever played it? It's a hard no. You've never played pickleball? Never heard of it. Is it's that in not, India? It's not, no, it's not in India. This is the fastest sport, and people are calling it a sport. <laughs> okay. Sweeping America. Pickleball. And it hasn't made it to the Bronx yet? It's, it has not. Uh, are you guys too busy lighting stuff on fire? <laughs> and playing <laughs> stickball. And yeah. playing stickball. And this kick is, the can. Pickleball, Shannon. Could you look up pickleball and explain it for our low-income fans? <laughs> yes. Uh, what is pickleball? Okay, so, okay. Pickleball is an indoor-outdoor racket. Indoor-outdoor, first of all, Mike. Okay. Indoor-outdoor. Could you wrap your head around that? Indoor-outdoor. Yes. Indoor-outdoor. Indoor-outdoor. Yes. Okay, Shannon. Uh, racket or paddle sport where two players or four players hit a perforated hollow polymer ball over a 36-inch high net using solid-faced paddle. So it's like tennis and ping pong together. Oh. A couple big words in that yeah. uh, sentence. I'm going to need you to maybe break it's it down. It's modified ping pong. It's modified tennis. Okay. It says it also has elements of badminton and, uh, yeah, badminton. Yeah, it sounds like, badminton. A, sounds like a white sport. Badminton. It sounds like a white sport? Yeah. Do people of color play pickleball, <laughs> I Shannon? So. I don't like Michael's I don't, accusations. I, don't think you can find. His, I will say that none of the Google images are showing yeah, right. anything yeah. other than white people. Oh right. no, there is one. I found there was one black person playing. Okay, not enough. They do play. They, does, are you? You've called pickleball right on the carpet for not enough diversity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that what you just did? Pretty much, Michael. Yep. Pickleball needs more diversity. One hundred percent. Okay. Well, what about and people? Pi hey, and pick a setting: indoor or outdoor. You right. can't do both. Cut the shit. No, you don't like it? No, I don't like it. Pick pick a what setting. What do you mean you're indoor cold? and outdoor? What if it's too cold outside? You need to be able to do so, it indoors. So then it's not pickleball season. Mm. Pick a season. What are you, you're all, you can just right. play pickleball all the time? I guess so. That's horrible. You That's, call BS on this. Big time. Okay. You're not being uh, inclusive of other sports in their time. Right. You're being very stubborn. Pickleball. Pickleball takes the cake. Because or should, they can or do it. Yeah, sorry. No, go ahead. Indoors or outdoors. Mike makes a great point. Yeah, pickleball. More like honky ball. Honky ball. And the whites dominate. And you know what? The whites get what they want. True. If they want it inside and they want it outside, they get it inside and outside. It's called privilege. Ridiculous. Michael. As a fellow, as your Latino investigator. Yeah. Junior. Junior, yeah. junior, uh, a junior Latino. Yeah, I ain't about this. No. I don't like it. You don't like it. No, no. In Spanish, no. And and badminton. What was your general feelings about? If I say the word badminton, what's your first response? Calming, beautiful sport. I think Victorian. I think English. I think you know. I think uh, you know uh, uh, Downton Abbey. But right. there's a game of badminton. I, I, it's very nice. I think we need more. Are you more confusing badminton. it with backgammon? Yes. 
Yes, badminton is with a. I'm so confused by what he was saying. I thought it was the one where you hit the little. The ping pong has a skirt. Yes, and it flies yeah. in the air. Ping pong has a skirt. Yeah, that's badminton. God, yes, badminton. <laughs> yeah, you said it right. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the one. Okay, that's a good. I, I like that wrong. part. Which one? Which one were you talking about? I was talking about badminton. I just thought you were. Um, I thought you got it messed up. I thought you were thinking of. Uh, is it because of backgammon? Okay. Which one's backgammon? Backgammon's a game. It's a board game. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. That's yes. like the one game you don't play. Roll dice yeah, so, yeah, and something, yeah, yeah. something. Nobody plays it, yeah. yeah. No one plays that. <laughs> badminton, plays though. I wonder what was wrong with badminton where we have to play pickleball. Yeah. But pickleball is uh, fastly sweeping the country. Do you know why it's called pickleball, Shannon? Let's find out. It's an investigatory show yeah. for those of you at home. We cranked up. Hanging heat. on the edge of your seat. Yeah. And Michael had a great point. It got cranked up. It's mostly up. whites. And when whites <laughs> want to play indoor, they play indoor. And whites want to play outdoor, they play outdoor. And whites do what they want. All right. And this, this isn't a fun uh, story. It's not fun? No. <laughs> well, this is a fun podcast, though, <laughs> yeah, Shannon. Could you, could you liven it up a little bit? Well, you, you guys will do that. So it says, Joel Pritchard's wife, Joan, started to call their game pickleball because the combination of different sports reminded me of the pickle boat in Crew, where oarsmen were chosen from the leftovers of the other boats. You're right, Mike. That's <laughs> yeah, deep this white. is the whitest thing <laughs> the I've white, ever heard. It's the whitest sport. Crew is even, too, it's out of my range of white. Pickle boat? What's a pickle I boat? I don't know, a pickle boat. It's Crew. Crew, which is my shampoo that I use, and gel. Crew, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Anyway, um, <laughs> pickleball is the is a fast rising sport, and it's uh, uh, this man almost died. Shannon, let's get to the actual story. We had to build what pickleball actually yeah. is, and a lot of people are playing it both indoors and outdoors. And now a man almost died, and maybe he can sue. I don't know the inventors of pickleball. Hopefully, and get it. they're obviously rich. One hundred percent. So uh, this is uh, this uh, dad. He's 35 years old, and it says he's super fit and that he's lucky to be alive after tearing a neck artery and suffering three strokes all because he turned his head too quickly while playing pickleball. So he, he turned his head too. You, he almost got injured. He almost killed himself yeah. by turning his head too quickly. Yep. Well, Shannon, he wouldn't want to be around this podcast because he would whip his head around because of our sexuality <laughs> true. three yeah. times really fast. Yeah. You know, I oh, don't know yeah. how I survive being on this show with the two of you. It's not easy. Wow, wow. Shannon. Finally. That's really, really <laughs> finally some, just finally some hot you. stuff here. Yeah. Shannon, do you think that it's possible that you could have a series of strokes by whipping your head around and looking at us? I'm trying I'm really trying not to. But your arteries could get severed. Shannon, is did you invite me as co-host uh, for the thing is because I'm so sexy? Yes, not? I think that's part of it, Michael. I'm not Shannon? even going to let her answer. <laughs> I'm you? not even going to let a woman answer, which is illegal now. We're going to say yes. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Yeah. She got sucked in by yeah. your perfect haircut oh my God. and your chiseled uh, face and the fact that you're flexing unprompted, which Shannon secretly loves. Yeah. Wow. Shannon, do you think I'm more attractive than Ron Diesel and all the guys that you love? I thought you were going to ask if I thought you were more attractive than Maddie, because that I can answer. <laughs> but I don't know about Rob Diesel. I'm sorry. We're going to just say yes. He's like just right under the rock for me, is Rob right. Diesel. Right. It's like top two men. Oh, aside from you two. Shannon, Mike and I, are we the best smelling comedians you've ever met? Josh Adam Meyer smells pretty good. All right. Good. Fucking mute <laughs> Josh <laughs> Adam Meyer <laughs> Josh wins Adam again. <laughs> for what? Josh Adam Meyer what? wins again. Why didn't you do it in a song parody, Shannon? <laughs> Yeah. Skibbity pop, skibbity pop. Skibbity doo with the squiggly d. Now you say squaggly squiggly. Smell me, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, how dare you? You've turned a perfectly good pickleball story into a living nightmare, yeah. which is what kids are saying now when they're being overdramatic. It's a living nightmare, Shannon. Literally a nightmare. Literally a nightmare. This guy almost died. This guy has three kids. He's out recklessly playing pickleball. pickleball. Which seems like a, a, a safe sport, but yeah. I saw the pictures of him in the hospital. Have you ever torn three arteries? My, and you lift pretty hard. All the time. And you cut your hair. Yep. No, I, I broke a couple fingers. I used to play football back in, back in the old days. Right. I played professional. Well, that's a hardcore sport. Do you think there'll be full contact pickleball in the future? You know what? I think after this, they're definitely going to uh, incorporate some sort of protection, like a neck brace or something, right? As Yes. Yeah. As bad as it would 
uh, be to say, do you think if this guy passed away mm -hmm. that pickleball would get a better, uh, more notoriety? I'm just going to be honest More with you, branding? I'm just going to be honest. Branding. I don't think anybody gives a fuck about pickleball. No? Yeah, I'm sorry. You don't think anybody cares about it? I don't think But you're in the Bronx. <laughs> no one in the Bronx cares about it. In Shannon and my communities, we are very high-end. I know Ralph has played pickleball. Of course. Ralph, <laughs> who owns the studio? Yes. Yes. You have to own the studio in order to play pickleball, Michael. Was it a competition for like SDR or something? I'm going to play pickleball while three strippers balance a baloney on, on their foreheads. Is it? No, it's not. That was not. Next week. Is there a button for when something <laughs> is not good? That was. I'm sorry. No, no just it's all. The silence. <laughs> it's what? All, Michael, it's all good. It's just, You're amongst friends here. All right. Okay. You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. That's Thanks. our motto on this podcast. You. That's your motto. You made that. I, I personally came up with yeah. that. And that's also <laughs> the first rule of pickleball. Okay, I don't know how many of these are going to be clips. Probably not many. But um, we're having an eclectic episode. I wouldn't say we're off. We're having an eclectic episode. Are we clip hunting? Is that what we're going to do? I always do clips. We're do and that's why I'm doing uh, headlines. Okay. Mike destroys yeah. Mike. Love that. Um, Mike claps back. On Mike, that, that's um, that's Mike Pornhub gay. If you go to porn, Pornhub, why gay, does everything have to be <laughs> shuffled? And you do Mike claps back. On I'm going to tell you something right now, Pornhub Michael. Gay. Right now, I'm going to tell you something right now. I've stopped watching porn. And I stopped Phew. watching porn, and it's uh, it's and if a stepmom gets out of a shower now and doesn't mm -hmm. have a towel, that's not my issue. That's not my problem anymore. That was my problem uh, years yeah. ago, but not now. Yeah, a man shows up with a pizza to a woman who is naked and doesn't have any money. That's not my issue now. Just good. It was. Or if a naked woman gets her hand caught in the drain and six plumbers show up. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> not my problem anymore. Okay. <laughs> six plumbers? Six plumbers. <laughs> it's happened. It's happened. Uh, Shannon, um, how did this story end? Is this guy okay? <laughs> Do we even care, Michael, at this point? I, I want to see some sort of a, a photo or something. I still don't know what pickleball is. Mike, I feel like you could put it together between tennis and ping pong. You, you get it. <laughs> I've wow. never visually seen it. I'm, I'm imagining things. Yeah, they're volleying. They're volleying a ball back and forth. Okay. As an volleying investigator, I, I feel like I need tennis, some sort of like you know an image or something. All right, let's see. I think that most. I'm sorry. Well, well she's getting the clip up. I'll um. I'll okay. mute it. So you I'll just no. watch it. Double mute. I mean, the whitest <laughs> woman in the world to the right. God bless her. Country club. Pickleball. Oh, it's a whole thing, but you get it. It's good All exercise. Right. <laughs> it's a fun game you can play with only your race. Oh, I love it. Do you think people should only play their own race, Michael? Is that what you just said? That's not. That's just what I observed. No, as an that's what you said. It's, I mean, I, I want to know if it. that's a policy that you endorse right now. This is headlines. Do you think that people in pickleball should only play their own race? Because that's a not a bad idea if you if you think about it. I think it goes against Brown versus the Board of Education. True. But what have they done for us lately? Jack squat. Jack squat. So do you think that people should play pickleball against people of different races or their own race or both? Keep it white. Keep Let's it white. keep it white. Keep it white. But what if a black person wants to play another black person? Tell them the, tell or a Dominican the, yeah. person wants to play a Hawaiian. I think I think they play a different sport. I think okay. pickleball. There's a guard, armed guard, and he says, "Sorry, this is just for the whites." And I don't. I think the other races they won't mind. They don't want to play this stupid shit. They <laughs> the other races don't want to play pickleball. No. I don't think so. Look but at the what clips. about the look pickleball the championships look at, then? Look at the clip. Yes, they're the, elderly whites. Yes. In gated communities, let them probably. Have, let them have something. They, they they all have PTSD. I don't think you understand that this that this is the fastest sport. I'm, I'm being serious right now. This is the fastest sport sweeping the country. That's Everybody's crazy. doing it now. Like, I never heard of lacrosse, really. I mean, I've yeah. heard of it, yeah. but I never played lacrosse until I went to college and I realized that people in the Northeast yeah. are just huge lacrosse. It's like their life. Yeah. And it was never a sport that we had at, in my schools in like either Ohio or Florida. Yeah. So it didn't mean anything to me. And that's how this feels yeah, okay. to All me, right. Michael. Pickleball, the um, new lacrosse is what you're saying. I'm just saying that you, you, because it doesn't apply to you in your situation, you're being very uh, narrow-minded yeah. about this, and you're saying it doesn't exist, and yeah. people don't like it because you don't like it. 
Right. And it's like the same way I would say about maybe plantains. Yeah. Okay, just does it hit home? Yeah. Is not, this hitting home for you now? Yeah, yeah. I've never fried fried a banana. That's not within my realm in yeah. my world. But that doesn't mean it does not delicious. True. And that it's not happening in other ethnics. True. Other ethnic corners. Yeah. Hey Mike, I got a question for you. Yeah. Do you know any Latinos that play lacrosse? Mm-mm. Lacrosse, yeah. pickleball. Right. You see it now? Lacrosse. Pickleball. Right. Both happy white sports. Happy whites. Let them have it. Happy whites. You know, we don't, my people, which is half my blood. Right. We don't want it. Okay. Well, I just like the way you said happy whites. Happy whites. It I love happy my whites. Day. Happy whites happy are the best. Happy whites is just that's, a fun, yeah. that's happy a fun whites. way to say it. I love happy whites. I found a, a Facebook page, a Latina pickleball club. You're full? Mm. No, you did not. Mm. I gotta go. I'm heading out. Mike, are you going to head out? I'm heading out. I'll see you guys. That's also, uh, it says it in Spanish. I'm going to butcher this, but it says Federacion Mexicana del Pickleball. Perfect. It's wow. another Facebook. So it is spreading across your group as well. But can wow. we put that clip Shannon claps back at Mike with <laughs> yeah. facts? That was good. That was good. Your Spanish uh, was, was Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Mexican Federation Pickleball. It's crazy. Mexican Federation. Yep. And they play Mexican style. That means they just keep coming forward. Boom, boom, boom. My big, I applied it to boxing. <laughs> okay, we've we is the guy okay, Shannon? For medical reasons, we should follow up. And is this guy who who severed three arteries by turning his head, which seems like he's that's kind of weak to he, sever three arteries by just turning your head. Yeah, he said that uh, when he turned his head, that he heard. In, he doesn't know if other people could hear it, but he heard like a snap, mm -hmm. and then he all of a sudden got dizzy. He started throwing up, and then so they took him to the hospital. But wait, uh, is that part of pickleball? <laughs> Uh, so they, they took him to the hospital and they gave him a CT scan and they found out that he had uh, the multiple strokes. But he is okay. Here is, here is him at his doctor's appointment. Oh, he's got a mask on. Oh, God. He's okay. okay. He's okay now. And then there was one with his daughter. Yeah. Yeah, his kids came to the hospital to visit him because he had a big injury from pickleball. Pickleball. Well, maybe he's going to have to take it down a notch and maybe play bingo <laughs> <laughs> the next time. I don't know if people get hurt on turning their head or getting up and shouting bingo. You would think. Bingo. You would think people bingo, could you're sever looking an at your paper, you're looking up. You're looking at your paper, you're looking up. You're moving. Yeah. I think bingo's worse for your yeah, neck. Yeah, bingo actually is pretty yeah. aggressive. Full contact bingo. Full contact bingo. I love it. If you don't get it, the person who does get it gets a free shot <laughs> yeah. at you. Full contact bingo. You heard it here first. Pickleball. Wow. That was a treasure trove. Would you play pickleball? I would play it. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe we should play it together. Maybe we should do it, yeah. and maybe we should live stream it. Yeah. And then we should do it for money. And then whoever loses gives the other guy a haircut. That's true. Yeah. I thought we were going to do the haircut thing regardless. I think we got to incorporate pickleball. Okay. I think that's the way you're going to get the clicks. Pickleball to a haircut. Mm -hmm. to a, Ellis um... Mania. Skank fest. <laughs> pickleball haircuts. The next article, I needed surgery after my date's tongue splitting French kiss. Oh my God. Whoa. This hit home. This hits home for this podcast. Because on this <laughs> podcast, we only kiss each other in French. I got to go. We only French kiss each other. Got to go. No, Michael. Hey, Mike. Michael. Got to go. Don't run from that your own. That was it for me. Don't run from your own sexuality. <laughs> splitting tongue. Mm -hmm. I mean, the French, I, I got to see. I need, I need more details. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, you Shannon, in the bathroom? You, <laughs> you gotta pee? <laughs> That's my French. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, yes. I thought you had to do wee wee. Our yeah. fans don't even speak English. <laughs> I needed surgery after my date's tongue splitting French kiss. Shannon, what's the deal? So, this is a, a Turkish model and influencer. <sighs> and uh, I will, I'll show you her in just one Oh, yeah. Turkish Here models are go. really hot. Start flexing. If Turkish you're at models home. are really hot because Turkey is a Muslim country and their models are super hot because they're kept under wraps yeah. for, and the wraps. Um, keep in the moisture and the sexuality. Protect from the stones. Yeah. And Turkey's like the oldest place. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Turkey Turkey is super old. It's um, like the beginning of civilization. Old. Have you been there before? Yeah. For real? Yeah, I was there over the summer. How'd you like You like it? I loved it. And I want to go back. You got Turkish family? No. Your wife is Turkish? No. Oh, I was yeah. over there for um, performing for the troops. Oh. I actually love the troops and I don't think that they're <laughs> terrible. So I was performing for them. That's amazing. Yes. And it was in Turkey. Were they playing pickleball? No pickleball in Turkey. Mm -hmm. 
They were doing it, but with a grenade. Oh, I'm fun. No. That's a joke for anybody who's Turkish. <laughs> what do Turkish people sound like? Uh, everybody over there just kind of looks like they've had it. Yeah. <laughs> you ever see people from Turkey? They look like they just had they enough. All... <laughs> they've had a rough day. Every, even in the morning, they just look like, ah, it's, this is enough. Okay. Uh, I needed surgery, Shannon. What's the deal? Yeah. So she said she was on her uh, first. It was the first time she kissed this guy. She was talking to him for about a month, and they had a French kiss. Yes. And then that's the only way to kiss, by the way, <laughs> Shannon. Do you do anything but a French kiss? Yeah. I, I don't even do no a French kiss. No Wait, Shannon. Kissing. What what kind of kiss do you do if it's the first kiss? Do you do a grandma? Um, get get a good report card kiss. Yeah. Hmm, I'm trying to think of the last time I actually kissed a guy. I guess. Yeah, no, I, I guess it would probably be that. Or it Tongue. Could, it, or it could just be like... um, Just like, just lightly on the lips, yeah. you know, like light, not light, a, not light a, lip work. Not a peck, but like a, this one. Yeah, like the yeah, like, you know, lip. sucking on the bottom lip top, like just slightly. Yeah. Oh my, Have you're you endorsing this? <laughs> yeah. You're endorsing this? Yeah, I know exactly what I you're trying like to say. I don't like your G-rated Disney princess <laughs> kiss that you're describing. Well, you don't go I full I don't tongue. like it. Why not? Set the tone. Set the tone. It's just because you were performing for the troops, Mike. Doesn't mean you got to be so aggressive. This is a Turkish model, Michael. Yeah. Okay. Have you been around Turkish models? Yeah. They're unbelievable. I know they are. Okay. So you have to go. You have to set the tone right away with consent, of course. But the fact that she's opening her mouth implies consent, Shannon. Oh my God. Oh, mama, she's hamana, unbelievable. Hamana, hamana, hamana. She's a Turkish model. Do whatever you want to do to her, Mike. I yes. agree. Oh, oh, she's great. My God, God bless her. She's sexy. God. Bless her. God, God bless America. Bless Turkey. Yes, and she's an influencer. Good for, wow. She's an influencer. She plays pickleball. When did the tongue split? I'll let her play pickleball. Pickleball? I'll let her play oh with my, my pickle. It's taking on a different meaning. He's I'll setting play it with my a pickle different and balls. meaning right now. The fans finally get it. Shannon, um, <laughs> when did the tongue splitting start? So it said that during their first kiss okay. that I guess he got a little bit too excited and yes. then bit her. Maybe he was just trying to like playfully bite her tongue. Playfully. And then a playful bite, Mike? A playful bite is nice, but not, it's not right nice. off the bat. Not no. right off the bat. No, probably not right off the bat. And so she had to go to the doctor and they had to stitch up her <sighs> tongue. He actually bit through her tongue. He bit through her yeah, tongue. Yeah, she got unlucky. She found a Dahmer. Wow. <sighs> Yeah, she found through a little a psycho. He's yeah. a dumb. Is it, does it start with the tongue? Do you think and works to the yeah, rest of the body? It works to the. To My the theory on a person like Dahmer is that he came from a too restrictive of a diet. Yeah, and true. then was like, just forget this. I'm just going to start eating people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that could I mean? happen. I think it can happen. You, yeah. there's a backlash to everything. Like if you're a vegan. And you just like, oh, it's too restrict, too restrict. It's like, I'll eat a person. I'll yeah. just eat a person. Yeah. I'll just eat yeah. a person. Yeah. And this I'll is fly you from Spain. I'll fly yeah. you. Oh, yeah. You need a ticket from Spain? I'll fly in. Yeah. That's a reference to sure. um, Shannon's situation. Yeah. That she's uh, she's going to do fitness with a model that she um, loves. Love. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. And he lives in Spain. And he lives in wow. Spain. Um, okay. So she goes to the hospital. This guy did a, fr I, I'm not sure that this is even a French kiss when you're biting into someone's tongue. That's a French kiss gone, um, gone bad, gone violent. Yeah. He bit into her tongue. And what about her taste buds? Probably she can't taste sour now. Yeah. Sour is right on top. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's the gone. levels of it. Yeah. It's gone. She can't, um, she won't enjoy a pickle. She's not going to enjoy a pickle. No. Or pickle balls. balls. Oh, well, meatballs. Um, meatballs. Yeah. I in, I need a surgery after. And how did this end, Shannon? Every story has a beginning, middle, and end. Is she going to be okay? Because she's an influencer. <laughs> did she take selfies in the hospital, which I encourage? She Well, she took a TikTok in the hospital. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, That's like a sexy x-ray. <laughs> a oh, sexy x-ray video. I can show it to you. Yeah, there let's see the TikTok and make up, sure our kids. baby girl is okay. Start flexing. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know where this sounds. I'll play one second. One second. I think uh, maybe she spelled a couple of words wrong. All right, you can close your mouth now. Okay. All right. Well, well I mean, that looks like an idiot with her mouth open. She <laughs> has her mouth open, but I would say that... Um, we're supposed to be fawning over the fact that turkey is really cheap. That's one of the reasons I really like it. 
So mouth surgery probably costs like 50 cents. Not bad. It's unreal. Not bad. And not 50 cent the rapper, like most of our fans think. It's actually 50 cents. It probably, you know, I was going to go. Actually, I think that if I needed some kind of a surgery or something, then I would fly to Turkey, get it done, and fly back, and still it would be cheaper than American yeah. health care. Turkey, so. Is Turkey crumbling? No. Oh, no? No. But didn't you say there's, like, war there happening right now? Uh, there's war. There was war in Syria. Oh, okay. So not in Turkey. Oh, okay. I'm getting. I'm starving right now. This all this turkey talk. A turkey club. I'm thinking of like honey roasted lean turkey. Turkey club. Half turkey, a pound. Half a, with mayo. A little mayo is nice. Okay. Well, you wouldn't do that if you had a severed tongue. Um, I had to bring it back to this story, Mike. Um, <laughs> Shannon. Uh, so she got out of the hospital and she's uh, influencing again. Hopefully. Yes. Yes. She's she is. back to her full time job, which is influencing. Mike, could you ever be an influencer? Never. Would never. you ever cut your hair online? Just be honest with the fans. Yes, I would. Yes, you would. If enough people reach out to me and Venmo me, yes. Naked? <laughs> Half nude? Apron on. If the fans, if the fan, an apron, that apron. implies that you can cook. I can cook. Okay, so you would cut your hair and then cook? You would cook while cutting your hair? TikTok is very competitive. How would you do it, Mike? Apron on, completely naked under the apron. I'll cut my hair and then I'll make a carbonara. That sounds good. Shannon, would you watch that? Yes, I would watch I it. I would watch yeah. it too. Yeah. Because the apron is a great idea for because you're posing nude, mm -hmm. but it's like you're leaving enough to the imagination. Yeah. You're just leaving your backside out. It's like a hospital gown. In the front, I'm just jacked. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's right. lats and everything. I'm cooking. But if you pay extra, you get the back. You right. get me cooking from the back. And then it would be a Patreon. It would be a, pa in a the Patreon back. exclusive. Yeah. Maybe Mike, you and I can watch it and we do a reaction video. We could do a reaction yeah. video. You know what? If I had to choose anybody, it would be you two guys, because I know you'd be positive. I would do a reaction video, I know you say nice too. things. Yes. I know that you would not judge the uh, the holes on my buttocks. I have, right. like, holes, like, physically. Like, my ass looks like like blue cheese. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not great. Well, I think it's called cellulite. Well, is you there... Guys, you guys are inclusive, and you will not body shame me. No. Yeah. But we would have to add a story as to why your body was like that. If you had holes in some kind of an accident... You or know, no? I mean, you know, every everyone's body's different, and yeah. you just accept my body. And I don't think right. I don't think we need a an explanation of why I look disgusting. I don't think you look disgusting. There we go. That's what that's what I'm talking I about. I think that you were flexing in front of us. That's why you guys will be there for to watch. an exorbitant amount of time. And Mike, I'll tell you what, it got to me. <laughs> what the hell are we talking it about? It started Mike? to intimidate me. <laughs> what the hell are we talking about? Let's move to the next story. <laughs> Entire plane bursts into song as drunk Karen booted off flight. Ooh, Ooh I love this one. This one's juicy. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, this hap oh, hold on one second. This uh, happened at the Gold Coast Airport in Australia. Mm -hmm. There was a 42-year-old woman from New South Wales, and she had refused to voluntarily leave the plane, which was bound for Melbourne. And Jetstar staff called in the Australian Federal Police to get her off the plane. So okay, let me tell you something about 42-year-old women. Do you think she was discriminated against, Michael, because she was a 42-year-old woman? <sighs> I mean, do you, is she carrying herself well, or does her age show? I don't know what she looked like. Shannon, just tell us if she looked good or... Do you want to see the video? Yeah, let's see the video. Oh, they're always, what are they, Canadians with that chant? It's Australian. Oh. Okay. Well, first of all, I don't like this Australians are singing our songs. Yeah, what's That's going on? That's our song. They, everyone nah, should nah, get nah, detention. Nah. Nah. Hey, 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 goodbye. goodbye. That's our song. Yeah. And you don't steal our songs yeah. to sing to your white women who are getting thrown off a flight. You just don't do it. That's copyright infringement of the United States. Make your own song. Make your own song. Don't steal from Aerosmith, God. you Swiss bastards. Hey, 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 goodbye is our song. And she's a 42-year-old woman. You know who wouldn't have to deal with this at all? Leonardo DiCaprio. Because 42-year-old women are not within his realm. Nowhere near. You turn 26, you're fired. See ya. You're flying Spirit. <laughs> you're flying another airline. Get the hell out of here. You know, if you're past 26 Hold on. in Leo's world. Uh-huh. You're not getting on Emirates. 
Cheryl. What did she do, Shannon? It says that she was uh, she was intoxicated. Oh, uh, drunk on a flight, Shannon. You've been to the islands. Is that <laughs> is that you? Um, I feel like I, I will usually. Actually, I did. I did get drunk once. Yeah, <laughs> Shannon got drunk on a flight. Yeah, I Shannon. did when I was going to uh, Curacao for my fortieth birthday. I was yes. with my sister and my aunt on the flight. And you weren't forty two because that would have been horrible. You were <laughs> right. forty. I was thirty nine. Oh, I was, young. I was <laughs> nice and young. And uh, so my sister isn't usually much of a drinker, but because she was coming on this vacation, yeah, she started like we started ordering. We made friends with the uh, not st- what do you call a male. Flight, a flight attendant and uh so he came over and he was just giving us bottles and bottles of tito's oh my god and so yeah we He's all called just, a doctor actually <laughs> wow. we all got very drunk on the flight there right. and then went to sleep but then when you i feel like when you go to sleep on a flight when you're drunk you just wake up and you're fine and just like you're never hung over is you that what you feel like with life yes because of um because of the altitude I evens so. out your um levels i feel that way yeah mm. so yeah it was it was a lot of fun i feel <laughs> the opposite when i drink on a plane i, I feel, really oh my god i fucking get Bombed. Immediate hangover. Immediate hangover. Oh my god, so bad. Or maybe I was just going to Vegas. I don't know. Maybe long flights. I felt horrible. Does your haircut neutralize the hangover? And when I get a good look at it, it, re- it gives me a confidence boost, and I, I start, whoosh, sounds whoosh, hot. Start getting hotter. Yeah, sounds hot. hotter. Um, Shannon, do you refuse to put your tray table up? Which is a big <laughs> thing with the airlines. They don't like it when you don't put your tray table up. Would you just? Were you just like, no, I'm not done drinking yet? That would have been a Karen move. No, I feel like I'm a very uh, polite um, in public where I always make sure that it's up before they even do the part where they're checking to see if they're up. So they never have to scold me about anything. Can I ask you a serious question now, Shannon? <laughs> uh-huh. If you're a Karen when you're leaving the United States, but you're going to an island, is will you have to change your name to maybe a Kiki when you land <laughs> because of the island? You're, it's a different culture. I don't. I will I say in, in this article, though, mm-hmm. they it's, it's it's an Australian article, and they still are referring to her as Karen. So right. maybe maybe it's universal. A Karen can a always universal stay Karen. Karen. It's maybe. not changed to a Kawi <laughs> or a Kiki, <laughs> a Kieran, a Kawai. Okay. I, can I say one thing, Mike? Sure. How was she acting like a Karen? I, she yeah, got off how the plane was she re- acting that like was Mike has a Karen. great point. How was she? I'm outraged. I'm like her husband. What did she even do wrong? I'm a husband at a comedy club. You're throwing us out for laughing? Yeah. You're throwing us out for laughing. We're just laughing and you're throwing us out. Yeah. Well, I'm never coming back here again uh-huh. and I'm going to give you a very poor review. And my dad is a lawyer. Give me my money back. Give me my money back. It's every comedy club. I'm getting thrown out for laughing? She was. She didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. She got on up t- nicely. She left. Right. right. And they were mocking her. And you know who else they mocked? Jesus. And it's like I'm. It, yes, I am comparing her to Jesus. Okay. Because they're both. They were both people. Okay. I was wondering how, how the hell did. You but get that Jesus fucking... died at 33. He didn't make it to 42. Mm. So she's stronger than Jesus, is what you're saying? Probably. Yeah. So it said, well, it doesn't say exactly what she was doing, but they had to forcibly remove her from her seat. Right. So I guess like the video starts after that happened, and it said she was subsequent, subsequently charged with behaving in an offensive or dis- disorderly manner on an aircraft, mm. which if she is uh, convicted, she has to pay a fine of $9,480. Australian, uh, that's nothing. That's probably nothing. Yeah. I thought her punishment was going to be a, a series of pickleball games. And then ended in some kind of a tournament. Okay, I'm not proud of it either. I'm not proud of that joke either. Um, God, you really milked that article for all. I wonder what you. What was would drinking. you do if you you used to be a teacher, correct? I did. Um, based off your guilty, based off the sketches, what, were you what, a um, math uh, upbeat? People would say guilty. Guilty. Yeah. Were you a math teacher? I taught um, special education, so I taught anything that was required, okay. math and uh, science, Okay. even though I was only one step ahead of the lesson of the kids, Okay. because that's how b- I'm bad in math. <laughs> okay. I'm revealing it now. I never would have revealed that when I worked for the Board of Education. Did you ever have to re- reprimand a child or discipline a child? Oh, all the time. So if all the other kids started singing, oh, no, 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 hey, 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 they all get detention. Yes. Yeah, that's and then what the happened. kid who was originally, he it would flip and he, he would get, 
He had to be a one person pizza party. Yeah. Because uh, that's what I threatened them with. I had a pizza party on Friday. You get enough stars, you make the pizza party. If yeah. you don't get enough stars, you go into the other room and you do work. Yeah. And if you want to make that pizza party, you got to earn it. Yeah. It's a pizza system. I used pizza the way that people use Bitcoin now. <laughs> no one knows what's behind it, but. It's I was wondering, a thing. I was wondering I why there's ask. a pie out there with it's my pizza. name on it. Pizza, baby. You're having a great episode. <laughs> Thank you so much. Shannon, do you think you're having a great episode? Um, No, I, I mean, I did start off a little bumpy. So no. Maybe. Things, the, let, can I correct it, Shannon, okay. for our fans who don't know any better? Yes. You were facing adversity in this studio, but you're, that's not your fault. You didn't invent the printer. That's true. I don't think any woman could do that. <laughs> <laughs> but you took the printer, that's a joke, mm -hmm. you took the adversity that the printer was giving you and you managed it. And you were going to write out the topics by hand before I said, Shannon, no, mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. Me and Michael are professionals and we can figure it out. But you were ready to go the distance for this podcast, Shannon. And the fact that I can't see your beautiful face right now is making me furious because we've been relegated to the small studio. Yeah, let it out. Let out I have to rage. let it out. Mike. I want to see you let out your rage. I have to let it out. That Take Shannon overcame off. adversity, and uh, I, I think that the fans can't handle what's under here <laughs> because I've been leaning up. Oh, really? Yeah. You look lean. You don't look inflamed. Usually, yes. I see you look inflamed. I do look inflamed. <laughs> Usually, bloated, a little bloated. I look bloated all you the look time. Very tight, and it's probably because you're not watching porn. I'm not watching. I'm not watching mm -hmm. any of it, mm -hmm. and <laughs> as a result, my testosterone is probably boosting <laughs> into my head. And I have an enlarged head. But I don't want to take away from the fact that Shannon did a great job earlier today. She Thank did. you. So I get pizza. You would get a pizza party. Well, that was kind of hot. But the it's way she pepperoni. Said that. that was kind of hot. Wait, the, the way, way she, she said it? The way she said, I get pizza. <sighs> that's like right out. You know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's old school. Guy shows up. Is this, you know, is this yours? No, it's not mine. Oh, can you help me get to the place I need to get to? And then she gives directions. And then he, she goes, no, I want pizza. And then yeah. they just fucking eat pizza together. And that was a really long setup. I don't and understand that story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and clip it, <laughs> clip it. <laughs> but I think how um, the pizza thing is always how she's going to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> and Shannon actually has real money, so it's it gonna. It wouldn't even be a thing that made it to anything. That's sexual. the fun. Yeah, the ending scene is the that ending she finally gets her, her slice. You. Yeah, God. she gets her slice at the end. Shannon and deprives us every yeah. time. With her thinking ahead. Yeah. See, the women in those movies never think ahead. Never. Shannon always thinks ahead and can problem solve. Yeah. So she never has to disrobe. One of the she rare. never has to. One of the rare ones. Yeah. Most women are, are derps. If Shannon was a little bit dumber. Yeah. I wish. I wish she was. I'd get, I'd get paid more on the show. You know? On the show we do. If she was dumber, I'd get more money. <laughs> But she's not dumb. I don't want this show to be a contract negotiation for you guys. <laughs> no, okay, no, Mike? No, is that we, what it's becoming? I like the contract is good. I like it, you know. Sometimes I'm a little late and she gets angry. I, maybe every, that Almost start. every time. That's not almost true. Almost every time. time. That's not true, Mike. It's not, Mike, Mike, I was on time today, right? Yes, you were. Yeah, he's on time for other shows. Oh, that's not true. That's not true at all. <laughs> it's true. That's not true. I mean, the ratings are up 300%, but, you know, you, know, you, you give and take. You know what I mean? So what are you going to do? Give and take relationship. Yeah. Pickleball. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with Shannon. Wait, what? You're in love what? with Shannon. What? No, no. <laughs> oh what? It was here on this podcast <laughs> that you admitted no. that. Wait, wow. Wow. I'm in the truth booth. All U.S. flights grounded for the first time since 9-11 after system crash, Shannon. Yeah, so uh, there was a, this, this system called NOTAM. It's N-O-T-A-M, which fi uh, pilots use to see flight plans crash. The whole system just crashed overnight. And so for about three hours, they had to ground every single flight. And there are about 7,000 flights that were delayed as a result. My God. Flight plan? You have to submit a flight plan before you take a flight. As, this, as a this passenger? is a tough. This is a tough. <laughs> this is a tough um, story to squeeze comedy from. <laughs> we can Shannon. skip it. No, I just want to know your rationale <laughs> in putting this story. Was this a thing like you're challenging us <laughs> Mike, to come up with something funny here? Hey, Mike. Because it's like a system crashed and all the flights were grounded. It's Mike. like, I, is there? Um, I figure because somebody like, getting thrown <laughs> off the flight. Maybe I comprehended nothing. That whole, I didn't comprehend anything that was said. I understood it. I, did not understand. I just am like, wow, what a straightforward. <laughs> um, that, 
What a straightforward story. It was, yeah, just a test. No, it was because, you know, like I ask you when you're traveling, if anything weird has happened, yeah. I'm like, oh, we can talk about that. That yeah. can be a fun thing. Plus, you're both comedians. You both travel a lot. So I yeah. figure maybe there was a tie-in. It's a tie-in between the system um, yeah. crashing. They would never tell you that on the flight, though, that, the, that, you, that we're being delayed because the system crashed. They would make up something else. Mm -hmm. Because that's their fault, and they would have to get you a hotel room, and they hate to get you a hotel room. Have you ever had that? One time it happened to me in uh, Tennessee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you got a hotel room? Yeah, they uh, they paid for the hotel, and I got an oh earlier flight. Yeah, and I got you I get got a food voucher. I got a food voucher. Those are always cool. <sighs> I ordered like three entrees. You live in the life, uh, and it was uh, it was Elvis Day or something. Yeah. And, and I was in Tennessee, and everyone was dressed up as Elvis. It was it was it was actually a cool experience. That's kind of cool because anybody could marry you. Yeah. If you're dressed as yeah. Elvis, you can officially marry someone, I think. I was alone, and I was thinking about going to the bar with some of the other people whose right. flight was delayed, but I didn't do it. I was too no. I was too afraid. I felt Oh, I fat. thought you were doing like I'm a comedian, I'm an entertainer. These people are beneath me. Oh, no, no. no? I, I was I was afraid. Are I, you sure? I ordered three entrees and I masturbated by myself in a room. Oh my god. Okay, let's go to the next one, Shannon. Six journalists detained after leaking footage of South Sudan's president peeing himself. Oh, boy. Okay, you made up for it on this one, Shannon. <laughs> okay, okay. You... Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, yeah. So they... Sound issues? <laughs> yeah. I started playing it before. Was that a brass band? <laughs> what was that? They You're going to see it. Play? You're going to see it. One second. So, but the uh, this uh, president is 71 years old. He was wearing gray pants as he stood for the national anthem at a road commissioning event. And this particular part of the video never aired on television, but it was leaked online. And then after that, they detained the six people for longer than they're allowed to detain people for sharing it online. So here it is. And then just look, it's this guy right here. I'm going to take the sound off. It's too loud. Do you see this here down his leg and on the floor? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. He peed himself? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, look, and you know, oh, I feel so bad for him. Yeah, this is kind of... I mean, and then they they pan away when I guess they realize it. Right, but you know that's uh, dedication to a ceremony. That's true. You know, it's like a whole. I day. had to go to the bathroom for my first communion, and I had to go to the bathroom, and I went to the bathroom like a coward. Yeah, this guy stayed and peed yeah. his pants. Yeah, sometimes staying and peeing your pants is the most courageous thing you can do. One hundred percent. Do you agree with that, Shannon? I, I guess so. I mean, I guess it's disrespectful for you to leave while the national anthem is playing. Right, but He's peeing old. yourself is also <laughs> could be seen as disrespectful. Meanwhile, Maybe. it's very courageous. But he probably <laughs> has like prostate issues. He, 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 I don't think he knew it was happening until he felt the wetness. Yeah, but okay, as a man with prostate issues, Shannon, you're saying like it, it's like outside this podcast, and maybe Mike has a young, strong prostate and bladder, but some of us are rapidly aging on this podcast, and I feel like that was a shot at me. It wasn't. Because sometimes I have to go to the bathroom during the podcast, That's true. and you hate stopping it and having to start again. I always feel I always thought that that was because you drink so much coffee. I mean, coffee doesn't help the situation, but my body is deteriorating as we speak. <laughs> wow. And Mike is kind of laughing at it. And he's cutting his own hair. Yeah. Now, <laughs> and he's the next generation coming up, and I'm getting moved to smaller and smaller studios, <laughs> and you guys are have an emerging podcast and you're taking over the game. And what happens to the fossil fuels who used to be here? Yeah. What happens to us? Just, you know, something at Skankfest. Maybe I can um, do something at Skankfest. I think they like write your name at Broadway Comedy Club or something like they'll write it on the wall next to the bathroom. I think they'll save Mike Vicky um, I remember that guy. Yeah, he's the best. He was he was something. He and now he's gone. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> All right. Well, the president peeing himself. So, Let's go to plugs oh, and then oh, go ahead, Mike. No, no. What what happened to the guy again that posted this? He was detained. You said. Yeah, there were six journalists that they uh, held for like over forty eight hours, and apparently you're not. Uh, they're not allowed to hold suspects for longer than twenty four hours. So it it was just. Uh, but do you find it thing. funny, Michael, that they were leaking footage of him <laughs> going pee? <laughs> I find that to be funny. I find the whole thing hilarious. I find it to be really funny. I, it looks like a, a clip from a Fast and Furious movie or something. They look well, like the, the bad guys. The six journalists were detained. <laughs> Do you think they got bathroom breaks? <laughs> no, I, I think I think that they were probably killed. They were probably killed. <laughs> yeah, I think they're dead now. And that's like the bathroom break in the sky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. they call it. Yeah, they're using the bathroom, all right. 
faith era. Shannon, you're making got... fun of people like me, but bathroom breaks are important. I agree with you. They're very important. And there's a reason in preschool they give bathroom breaks. And there's a reason elderly people need bathroom breaks. And it's because you don't want to get in a situation where you have to detain six journalists <laughs> and probably massacre them. Yeah, it doesn't I don't see in this article what happened to them afterwards. Of course, no <laughs> one's going to see that. But it does say also that uh, the president was believed to have been suffering from a urinary tract infection. Okay, yeah. well that saves it for me. Well, I think you uh, should uh, uh, talk about your sponsor. Depends. <laughs> in this case... Depends would have saved those uh, uh, seven Nigerian men's life because they're dead now. <laughs> that's they're right. Dead. Freedom of the press. Yeah. Well, I think it's safe to say that the president is still um, number one. Ooh. Okay. That's good. <laughs> it's getting rough in here. Uh, let's go to some plugs. I'm at Comic Mike V on all social media platforms, at Comic Mike V. I love you guys. Thank you for coming to the YouTube premiere every Monday at 9 p.m. Please continue to support the show. MikeVecchione.com for dates. I'll have new ones up soon. As soon as I can figure out my website, MikeVecchione.com for dates. I'll be on the road. Um, also, uh, special coming out, hopefully within the next month. So, um I will let you guys know where to find it as I will hopefully be doing the podcast rounds in order to promote it. I put a lot of work into the special and uh, I need you guys, the uh, low income fan base, to support it as much as humanly possible. So uh, thank you uh, for your support. I love you guys. As always, uh, continue to support your boy. And um, that's it for me. Mike, what do you got? Um Check out The Thing Is yes. Sting with me and Shannon. Uh, I also do another podcast called Young Guns with me and Robbie Goodwin. Check that out. Uh, at Comic Mike Figs. Very, very similar to your yes. handle. I'm sorry. Even the website, MikeFigs.com. You, go to, you see my dates there. <laughs> at Comic Mike Figs on Twitter. Uh, Figgy Pudding on TikTok. At Comic Mike Figs on, uh, on MySpace. Check it out. Yes. Check out Figs' pods. <laughs> and the thing is, yeah, which is one of them. Shannon. Um, by the way, it is difficult with you guys having such similar Twitter handles because mm -hmm. I have tagged the wrong person. I'll change mine. Out of respect, times. I'll change mine. <laughs> I'll change mine completely. Uh, you can, again, listen to The Thing Is, Ding, uh, here on the Gas Digital Network. Me and Mike Figs, we talk about bad dates, fighting, and ghosts. Uh, wherever you listen to Mike Vecchio and Investigates, you can also watch it live for free every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern at gasdigitalnetwork.com slash live. That's absolutely free. Sorry, just pretend like nothing's happening in the background. That's absolutely free. Use promo code MVI. You will get a one-week free trial, which gives you access to every single episode of this show we've ever done, as well as every episode of every show on all of Gas Digital Network, including brand new show that just joined this week, Slick and Thick, hosted by UFC fighter Mickey Gall and comedian Gerard Michaels. Uh, if you have questions, comments, or your own vid video and guest investigation to submit, send it into MikeVecchioneInvestigates at gmail.com. Go to podcastmerch.com for t-shirts, hoodies, and mugs. And if you listen on iTunes, YouTube, wherever you listen, make sure to rate, review, leave a comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Every little bit of interaction helps the show to grow. All right. Last, right. Let's do the last one, Shannon, which is Caroline's Comedy Club closes, and we all knew that was coming. Did you work Caroline's at all, Mike? When I, yeah. Um, Ten years ago, I started there. I took a class, and yeah. I did a bringer shows for a couple months. And, uh, and then I started getting some spots there. Um, producers would throw me on. Yeah, I liked Caroline's. Caroline's well. was great, and it was. Uh, I did a lot of work there over the years. They were very good to me, and uh, it uh, closed. And uh, I went during um, a tells a tells weekend is always the weekend between Christmas and New Year's, and I just went to go. And I missed the show because I had early spots, but I went to go see him and uh, missed it. But got to hang out afterwards and got to see Caroline, got to see Louis Ferranda, got to see Greg Charles and thank them for everything over the years. So that was nice to see them. You worked and, that club a lot? I, I did work it back in the day, yeah. And uh, just to see them and to say goodbye and thank you. And they're still going to be running the New York Comedy Festival, but uh, I didn't know when I was going to see them again. So I wanted to thank them for all the years and the work and all that stuff. So, But uh, the, the news article, we all knew Caroline's was closing was my point. The the this news article is about something else though, Shan. It's Caroline's closing, but what's taking its place, which is very upsetting. No way. Yeah. yeah. So uh, a ping pong bar co-founded by Susan Sarandon named Spin NYC is going to be taking over. Are you serious? Another spin. 
So there's already a spin in 23rd. Yeah, yeah. So and then and that's Susan Sarandon's place. So this one is going to be spin in Times Square, and it is going to be a huge. These ping pongers have had us out for us for a long time. It's comedians, and these ping pong people can't find a place to play their ping pong, and they have to come to our comedy clubs and try to push us out. Our biggest enemy. Ping it's our pong. biggest enemy. Pickleball. Like, it's yes. just all these things. What's next? Pickleball would be a pleasure, Michael. Ping pong? You replace us with ping pong? Unbelievable. Taurus trap. What I a mean, it's trap. Doxing. terrible doxing. for us, man. We're doxing it. We're getting these ping pong people. I'm a star. I'm a star. It's like, what about stand-up comedy? I just think that they need to stay <laughs> out of comedy clubs. Yeah. Because comedy clubs are closing. It's bad news. That's crazy. That's horrible. That's... that's... That's unbelievable, man. I, I Caroline's was a, a beautiful place. Linda Smith, you ever meet Linda Smith? Yeah. And Vince August, those yes. guys, they taught me when I was young. That's awesome. Vince took me on the road a couple of times, and they probably have nothing to do with Caroline's. They don't. I don't think they own it, but but to me, no, when they I were think there, of Caroline's, they were working there. Yeah, yeah. I, I think of that. I think of those. I think of that. You know. Well, well, now, now you it's can, fucking, now you can go down and take ping yeah, pong classes. Fucking, but you know what's going to be next? Pickleball. Pickleball. You know they're going to. It's make a pickleball indoor. Room. It's outdoor. It's going to be everywhere soon. That place will prediction. Uh, the ping pong place will close. A pickleball place will open. The green room in Caroline's perfect for pickleball. Yes. It's green. Yes, and pickles. pickles are green. Thank you. That tracks. <sighs> it's unbelievable, man. What should we do? Should we go there and just start fighting people? You and me no, together? I think we should start roasting them. Roast. Yeah. We should do it comedically. That's, That's how it. comedy fights happen. Yeah. We just go and verbally roast them. Let's do it. Yeah, we should do it when it opens up. Yeah. You and me. Yeah. Shannon brings a camera. Yeah, and we go in there and we, and we just, just take turns roast, roasting, roasting them it. as they're playing ping Look pong. Look at this guy. Yeah, this with his mom. Ah, Durf. Nah, <laughs> nice one. Who do you think you are, lady? Right. She's like, I'm a bathroom attendant. I mean, go fuck yourself. We'll just go after them. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we ended it off with a bang there, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much for joining us. For Mike Figs, for Shannon, I'm Mike Vecchio. We'll see you guys next week.